Hey YouTube, JW. Got a knife I want to show you guys. <clears throat> you may recall me picking this up uh, maybe three months ago. Um, got it from a lady who got it at an estate sale. She didn't know what it was. And when I bought it, I didn't know what it was. Now if you follow me for any time at all, you know that I bought hundreds and hundreds of old knives. And you know I've seen my share so I saw it $35 shipped and you know when you see something unusual and interesting the time to buy it is right then don't wait around so I did knew that it was a fox because it said fox you see the fox here on the tang and there's a serial number stamped over here so I didn't know what it was assumed when I did the new arrival video when I got it that it was a Fox Italy knife well somebody left a comment on that video telling me no in fact it's a Paul Fox custom and that's all that he put about so, I never heard of Paul Fox. Well, I figured I would look it up. It's a big folder. You're looking at nine inches. Nine inches overall. And weighs about six and a half ounces, probably. So, I looked up. Uh, Paul Fox online and Arizona Custom Knives pops up. Arizona Custom Knives sells well, a wide range of knives. I dealt with them in the past. I see about four Paul Fox knives pop up all different than this one. Um, some of them are basically the same. They just look different, have different materials. This one seems to have, you know, this is stainless steel bolsters, a wood, whereas the one on there has titanium scales. Some of them have really elaborate, you know, this is more, looks more like a basic model. Um, but it's called a toggle lock. That's what that's called. And it's a Paul Fox Custom, which Paul passed away in uh, 2012 at the age of 74 and the cheapest one on there Paul Fox was $895 which it had titanium handle scales but there was other ones up to I think $1200, $1300 so basically I would say I this is maybe a $600 knife and like I said, I paid 35 which makes this uh, the greatest deal that I have ever gotten. And not only that, you know, I didn't turn around and just sell it right away, you know, because uh, I'm debating selling it right now. That's why I decided to do a video on it before I get rid of it. And I just really, really like the knife. It's really grown on me. I love that drop point spear point blade just the whole the whole knife in general I just really I really like it it's, it's not the most high quality knife that I've ever seen um, especially for that those kind of prices now and you know the ones that are on there listed for that much money have all been sold I think there's one left that's really exotic looking for Let's see here. $1,200. Uh, yeah. twelve fifty. One sold for $2,000. The one like this sold for $8.95. Another one that they're calling like a, a... This is the toggle lock flipper is what they're calling this. Desert Fox. 650 
and then one sold Damascus and titanium lockback sold for 1500 so the one closest to this one is 895 with titanium scales and that's the only difference same dimension same size and it is a previously owned knife I mean they're all previously owned now so um, yeah really great looking knife and you know Paul Fox was a celebrated knife maker he was in the knife makers guild um, he had won many awards over the years and was just a well-known person you know it has a little bit of blade play and the ones that are listed on this website say the same thing but I think really um, he was an innovator in design you know he was doing flippers and toggle locks and you know these kind of top locks were popular in the early 90s so I think he just had a lot of innovative designs ahead of their time and that's really probably the best way um, to describe his work um, but yeah I'm thinking about letting this one go um, you know for the money I can do a lot of other things you know but man it is just a great looking great looking folding knife and I was very lucky to come across it like I did I'll probably never be able to duplicate uh, a deal that good again I wouldn't think you can see that top lock how it works you just push either when these go up these have little screws inside of there and they spin freely two screws design you see the fit and finish on it it's pretty good nice and smooth and flush everything is slick on this knife so I don't want to get too long with this video but that's it the Paul Fox toggle lock flipper best deal of my life thanks for watching guys I appreciate it hitting that like button subbing me check me out on Facebook and uh, always popular Instagram there's links in you can go to my channel in the banner there's links to both if you want to go there and check it out and I'll catch you on the next one